through the steps on how to um, take a digital radiograph using a sensor. Today we're going to use the DEXA system, which integrates with Dentrix, um, which we don't have up and running at the moment. So we will use a dummy patient, DHX-ray1. So I double clicked on DEXIS, then I'll find our client, double click on the client that we want to take the radiograph on, or the image. When we're using digital, we should use the term image. Click on the radiation caution symbol. And those yellow bars show that we should not go ahead and take it. We should insert the sensor into the computer first. Okay. Now when I hit the radiation protection symbol again, <laughs> we should be able to see green. So we'll try this again. I'm going to try and just put it into the tower, computer tower, and see if it will work. Okay, so here we can see that there's no more yellow bars on the side, and when I pick what we want to expose will either be exposing a full mouth series with two bite wings, four bite wings, and if we choose on one of those tabs, it will actually guide us through the sequence that we should take them. If we're just taking individual, then we should be selecting the actual teeth that we want to expose and then coming back and doing that again before we carry on. So right now, I will just select the teeth, so I'll do an anterior maxillary PA. So now it's green, so we know that we could go ahead and expose. So when we're looking at the long cone paralleling technique when we're using the sensor, we want to make sure that we choose the right PA holder for the anterior. So the blue is anterior, the yellow is posterior, and the red is bite wing, and you could do vertical or horizontal bite wing. We want to ensure that it's in the center of the circle. The sharp, pointy parts are always away from the client's face, and the smooth part is against the client. So we will insert the sensor. So it will guide you as to where to put the sensor cord into the little groove underneath. And you want to make sure that the client isn't biting on there, so you want to make sure that it's flush. Then we want to barrier it. At this point, you would have your gloves on, and your, all your PPEs if you're working on a real client. You want to ensure that the whole sensor and the holder is covered. And then with these little x-ray heads, you want to make sure that you're pulling from the back for the client to open its mouth. Place the sensor in, and we're using the long cone paralleling technique, so we want to make sure that it's far away from the tooth, as close to the middle as possible. And then we're going to close... have the client, the mannequin closed down. Put this as close to the client's face as you can. I'm just going to put the chair down a little bit so that it's at the right height for me. 
And it's important that you're lining up the PID, the position indicating device, so it's parallel with the metal part of the holder. Make sure the power's on. So let it flush with the circle, and then we'll have everybody just head outside of the room. It's not safe out there. If you look at Not at all. the control panel. So as soon as we click on the power button on the unit, this will light up. And when we're taking digital direct, we're going to press D. It has a computer on the top to remind you that it's digital. And then here, a little bit difficult to see, but we have the teeth on the maxilla and the mandible. So we're doing the maxillary anterior. So I'm going to touch on T2. And then if I could just have everybody move away from the door there, I will expose. Exposing. And once we go back into the room, we should see our radiograph. We'll have the client open their mouth. Then we'll press exit, and then we could go back in and choose another area that we like to expose. If we're choosing to do a full mouth series with four bite wings, it will show you the sequence. Okay, so it's going to start on the upper right, and then once you expose it, the image will show up, and then you'll click next, and it will just guide you through the sequence of to take that full mouth series, which is really nice. You're able to take a full mouth series in about five minutes if you use the actual sequence guide for yourself. Okay. Now to disinfect the holders with gloved hands, obviously you would remove the barrier. Take off your contaminated gloves, remove the sensor, place it back up on the hook so that it's not going to get damaged. Okay. And these do not get sterilized, so they get sprayed down with cabicide. You can't use the wipes. These wipes actually will start to disintegrate the plastic. Okay, so you want to place it on the tray. Spray it down for the recommended time that the manufacturer um, requires for the disinfection process. And then after that you want to wipe it all down and then put it back into the cupboard for the next client. Okay. If you don't have time to disinfect it or to clean the room, a paper towel should be left on the client's seat indicating to the clinical monitor that this room needs to be cleaned. Okay. So that's a general sign for all the x-ray units. Mm -hmm. If you can't physically go up to them and talk to them and say that this room needs to be clean, leave it on the ch uh, paper towel on the chair. And that concludes the digital direct imaging.